filming today and all the future vlogs, I'm going to be giving away a $100 Amazon gift card to you guys to buy the gifts of your dreams to you and your family. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on every one of the Vlogmas videos. I'm gonna be going through and randomly picking winners. I got this idea from Blair. Shout out to Blair Walnuts, go check out her Vlogmas. And yeah, I wanna give back to you guys for the holidays. And then on Christmas, I'm gonna be giving a $500 gift card. So stay tuned for that. What's up? Hi. I'm wearing my sweatsuit and I've got my MRI scan today. I'm going to this place called Ezra Scan. I found it online and they do full body scans. And uh, I'll talk more about it today, why I'm going, etc. But I'm gonna have a lemon honey water and review this video, post it, and then get going. an hour long so it was an hour of sitting in that tube like I get I get why they ask if you're claustrophobic because yeah it's an hour long in there they scan my whole body from shoulders to pelvis and yeah it was kind of nice not having any distractions and just being able to focus look at these guys put, putting lights up on the trees New York in December Central Park. It rained last night, so the smell of the leaves and the trees and the grass is like whew, sublime. I'm gonna find a cute place to sit for a bit. We'll have a chat and then I gotta head back to Brooklyn for my meeting at noon. It's a great day. All the seats are wet, but we're just gonna chat like this. Good morning. What do you guys appreciate? Let me know in the comments down below because I think a lot of the way, reason why I was feeling a little bit of paralysis with content is just my comparison to my past self and my comparison to others. And the biggest solution to get through comparing yourself to others is to appreciate what you got. So what do you got? Tell me about it. I wanna know. We can talk about why I went for the ultrasound. Well, I've been having some pain in my gallbladder for a few years actually, so I wanted to check that out. I'm early PCOS, which I think I've healed, but I'm not sure. Let's go under this bridge. Um, so I wanted to check that out too. But I think about like three weeks ago, my left breast, like we have this mirror in front of the toilet, which is like such a weird mirror in the thing, but like when I was going pee, I like looked at my boobs and my one boob was so much bigger, my left boob. It just like doubled the size. So I wrote my dad, my dad's a doctor. So that's why I was writing him about my boobs. Probably one of the first women ever to be like, hey dad, my left boob is twice as big, what should I do? <laughs> 
Uh, you told me to get an ultrasound or better yet an MRI. Since I don't have a GP because I'm a digital nomad, I couldn't get in right away for an ultrasound. So I just ended up booking a full body MRI through this thing called Ezra. It's like an AI uh, that goes through your scans. I think doctors do too. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was really cool. I could get in the next week. And then my boob actually did go down in size. Uh, so I think it was related to hormones. So we'll see what the results are, but I just think it's kind of nice, like if you can afford it with modern technology, being able to check yourself like that. And then now I've got an image um, that my future MRIs can be compared to. We're sitting on a rock. Wow, look at these cool things. What are these? They look like little alien eggs. I think there must be a seed inside of them. So, and I got an email. I'm gonna get my results for my test in five to seven days. And I'm not worried at all. You know, and regardless of outcome, because I did learn about inflammatory breast cancer, and my, my grandma just got diagnosed with breast cancer again. My mom had breast cancer, so I think it's just good to be safe, check things out, nip things in the bud if it is something. But I have no fear, I have so much trust in my body. It is such a vehicle of divine, intelligent technology. Like, if we look at our phones and we're like, damn, our phones can do a lot of shit, they're pretty cool. Our bodies are a million trillion times more cool with what they can do and all the stuff that's happening subconsciously is pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, let's just give us some gratitude for our bodies for taking care, such good care of us and breathing for us and pumping blood for us and doing every other thing it does. Bodies also like... If you wonder why you're only attracted to certain types of people, one, there's a lot of like, what's gonna bring out your trauma so you can grow from it happens when you meet people. But two, it's also you're the bacteria in your body and your body picking mates based on what's a good genetic and macro, macrobiotic? What's a good bacteria match and genetic match for you to make babies with and to strengthen your immune system and to grow you? Like, that is so freaking cool. Hello. I also learned that the we were told we're, as we grew up because this is honestly what, what we thought that the the strongest, fastest sperm that makes it to the egg is the one that impregnates the egg, and actually the egg checks the genetic tissue of the sperm when they all are around the egg, and then the egg decides what sperm it lets in. So, yeah. That changed my entire worldview. <laughs> Cheers. I really wish I had Yuri with me. She would love to sit out here on this rock and explore Central Park. Uh, I can't wait to have her at the next house that I have, but I would love if I could travel with her more. The only airline that accepts emotional support dogs now is uh, Aeromexico. So if I wanna travel with Yuri, I have to travel into Mexico City with her and then somewhere else. So, yeah, that's my life. Can't wait to have her, missed her. She's gonna be in this video in a week, so stay tuned. Last time I was near Central Park, uh, it was at the south end of this yeah. building over here, one of the tall buildings. <laughs> My sister and I had just finished lunch and we came outside <laughs> and there was this pack of different colored cute French Bulldogs 
that had been let out of this big uh, like black SUV. And we're like, oh, that's so cute. They're so cute. So I was getting a video of them for my vlog. And the woman is like, no photos, please. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused that I never had that happen. And then later, I was watching the Lady Gaga Super Bowl documentary, and they were her dogs. And that was such a trip. So, I, she didn't want me to photograph Lady Gaga's dogs, but Lady Gaga has an apartment up there. She used to, at least. <laughs> Get ready for my meeting. Hi. I ate some popcorn. I'm watching Blair's Vlogmas. Blair Walnuts. She's a friend of mine. She lives in Miami. I can't wait to live in Miami and get to hang out with her more. She's so fucking funny and smart and I just really deeply appreciate her as a woman and as a friend so if you're looking to add another vlogmas to your uh, plethora of enjoyment go and check her out she's hilarious you probably already watch her I wouldn't blame you I have a friend coming over tonight to stay with me um, my really close friend Lana I don't know if you guys met her but you're gonna meet her yeah she's staying with us for the weekend and I was planning on going to Miami this weekend but now they're here uh, they're t attending a psychedelic conference in, in New York so I'm like maybe I'll go to that like that sounds really fun um, but yeah and then polo and pan tonight which is like my favorite dancing music so we're gonna go and twerk it on the freaking dance floor and polo and pan tonight I'm so freaking excited I wanted to go to polo and pan for so long now I'm actually in New York when they're here and their tour is started again so we're gonna go dance but anyways, come with me. We're gonna go and set up the house. I'm gonna be a good hostess. I'm gonna lay out fresh towels for them, clean blankets. I can give you guys a tour of the upstairs now. So, going up to the top floor. Look at this place. Skylights. Come upstairs. So this is the room that they're gonna be sleeping in. I'm gonna have to find more pillows for them. I've got this extra blanket for the bed, okay, nice big mirror, hi. And then we got their chair, and this is their bathroom. I actually thought about moving up here instead. I really like the shower, I like the windows that come in, it's really pretty, but I haven't moved up here yet, so they're gonna get to enjoy it. Woo. All right, let's do another two while we're at it. Here I am, a sub, my dudes. This is my dry brush and my rose oil. And then look at that. Wow. This is where I come to watch the sunrise. <laughs> all right, this is the rest of the upstairs. Those are all our boxes. They're pretty empty. And then there's another bedroom here. This is actually my favorite room only because of this. It's the tallest room in the house by far, but I just love this wood, the top, and of course, the girl with her cat, hello. I'm also wondering if I can go up on the roof. I think about it every day. I think I can, I don't think it's locked, so maybe we'll have to have a nice sunset there sometime. And then we have a second kitchen. We actually had a bunch of different issues with our Airbnb, but it made it so we had to book something last minute and it just happened to be giant, so here we are. Here's another bedroom that we're not using, well, Luke is using. Uh, we got lots of art on the walls, and there's his setup. All right, I hope you enjoyed that tour.
I just finished a call for a project that I'm working on with a couple friends. It went great. Now I need to get ready for polo and pan tonight. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm working out an outfit for tonight. I wanted to wear more color, but I don't have warm color, sadly. So. Soba, 100% buckwheat noodles, and some wilted spinach. I don't really eat salads very often, <laughs> to be totally honest. I don't think I've ever gone through a box of spinach. It always ends up getting thrown up and I feel guilty about it. But then I had this ping that I should make caramelized onions with a little bit of garlic. I add some tamari, and then you wilt the spinach in it, and then add a little salt and pepper and serve, and it's like delicious. It's delicious, you should try it. I'm waiting for Luke to finish his therapy, then we're gonna eat, then we're gonna go dancing. the video if you did make sure to spank that like button and subscribe it helps out the channel greatly and i'll see you guys in another video bye